Hi everyone, I'm Kat Jack, and I'm here to tell you about how changing carving patterns had impacted the milk production profile in Great Britain. Based on BCMS data, we've seen a clear shift in carving patterns over the last 10 years. By analysing calf registration data, we can classify farms into block carving, all year round carving, or as falling in between. Back in 2011, two thirds of farms fell into that in between category. But since then, we've seen a significant move by farmers to focus on one carving system or the other. In 2011, only 25% of farmers were all year round carvers, which rose to 31% by 2020. In the same time, block carvers increased from 9% to 16%. Additionally, we've been able to use our milk forecasting calculator to see what the shift has done to seasonal milk production. The biggest change is in the seasonal trough in milk volumes. Historically, we would have expected to reach a low point in October or November each year. However, the change in calving patterns has increased milk production in those two months and reduced volumes in July and August. This will be the main reason why GB milk production has been hitting a trough in the summer in recent years and then stayed relatively flat through the autumn. The change in calving patterns has also added volume to the spring peak. That means, as a country, we are peaking slightly higher than we did 10 years ago, but maintaining a longer, shallower trough through the second half of the year. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. To find out more or to get the latest market information, please visit the AHDB website. You can also go to the website to subscribe to our Dairy Market Weekly newsletter and get an update into your inbox every Thursday.